Your path lies across the spine of the world, where every cave hides some new danger. Hello everyone, my name is Elspeth, you're watching the Planeswalker Pantheon. Today, we are opening up a set booster box of the latest set from Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Worlds. Enough about that, let's just see what treasures lie in wait for us today. Alright, so... There we go. And there's our wonderful, wonderful set booster box. With some sweet, sweet stuff. We won't bother about fixing that up. We'll have that right up here. Actually, I'll put this out here. All right, so first pack. I still can't quite get what's in these set booster boxes, set packs, but we'll get there eventually. So we've got our art card in Neverwinter Dryad right there. Got our land. We've got, oh, a pixie guide in that alternate frame. And some other commons. Oh, commons. Some uncommons here. And our first rare is Treasure Vault. So it's an artifact land. Tap to add colors. XX tap and sacrifice the vault. Create X treasure tokens. Ooh, we've also got a Mythic here in Demulich, which I believe is seen play in Modern Legacy. So for four blue, you get a Creature Skeleton Wizard. It's a 4-3. It costs blue less to cast for each instant and sorcery spell you cast this turn. When it attacks, exile up to one target uh, instant or sorcery card from your graveyard, copy it, and you may cast the copy. And you may cast Demi Lich from your graveyard by exiling four instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying its other costs. Oh, and we've got a foil volo guide to monsters here too. So for two, a green and a blue, your legendary creature, human wizards, a three, two. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature trap with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. So that's a nice bit of ooh, flavor. Oh, and we've got a card from the list. It's Fathom Mage. So for two, a green and a blue, you get a creature, human wizard. It has evolved to 1-1. One, one, and whenever a plus one, plus one counter is put on Fathom Mage, you may draw a card. All right, you know what? Do it like that. So it's custom list, basics, commons, uncommons, rares, art cards. There we go. Let's hope I maintain that order. Next up. Ooh, we've got an art card. So the art cards for this set, if it is of a D&D &D monster, like the Demi Lich that we just opened before, you'll actually get its stat block on the back, you know, from the actual um, from the actual D&D monster manuals, which is a real neat little detail for those who love D&D as well as magic. We've got a Plains here. We've got a Celestial Unicorn as our uh, alternate art card. We'll jump through these commons. We'll jump through our uncommons here. Got an uncommon, a common. That was weird. The order was a little bit funny. So our rare is Zorn. So for two and a red, you get a creature elemental to three, two. If you would create one or more treasure tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional treasure. We also have a foil Reaper's Talisman here as well. And we've got a devil token. Oh, but do we not get a token the other one? That was weird. Anyway, next up. Oh, we've got an art card for Zorn here, like we just opened up, and we've got his neat little stat block. Got a swamp. We've got a Baron of Clan Unda as our bull book card. Got some commons here. Oh, we got a some uncommons as well. Barbarian class of scene play. It's another com some more commons. And our rare is an orb of dragon kind. So for two and a red again artifact. One and tap, add two mana in any combination of colours. Spend this mana to only cast dragon spells or activate the ability of dragons. And for red and a tap, sacrifice an orb the orb of dragon kind. Look at the top seven cards of your library and reveal a dragon card from among them and put it into your hand, then put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Got a foil clattering tokens here and a treasure. Oh, that was really weird. That we oh no, because we've got a list, I think, instead of a token. I think. Alright, next up. Oh, 
We have our art card. Ooh, we've got our art card. Ooh, it's Mordenkheim. Nice. I've got our planes. We've got our mimic as our rule book card. As our commons, some uncommons. I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. Because they have um some themed some theme to it i guess and our rare is a hall of the storm giants so it's a land if you control two or more other lands it enters the battlefield tapped tap to add blue and then you can pay five and a blue to create it make it have a be a seven seven blue giant creature with ward three and we've also got a foil secret door and our token is another treasure card all right next up We've got our art card of Bar the Gate, our island, we've got a Mimic as our as our rule book card, some commons, some linked up uncommons, and our rare is a monk class class. So for two and a white, sorry, for a white and a blue, the second cast spell you cast each turn costs one less to cast. When it becomes level two, you return one target non land permanent to its owner's hand. And if you pay an extra two mana into it, a white and a blue into it, and then for one white and a blue, the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. As long as it remains exiled, you may cast this card from exile as long as you have cast another spell this turn. And we have a foil. You see a pair of goblins. Man, that art looks really nice in the foil, actually. And we've got a Dungeon of the Mad Mage on the back of a goblin token. All right, next up. We have our art card of Magic Missile, nice classic spell in magic right there. Got a mountain. We've got a hulking bugbear as our um, rule book card. Some commons here, some uncommons, then our linked cards. Oh, our rare is actually a Vorpal Sword, so for a single black in artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus two plus zero and has death touch, you can, or you can equip it for double black. And you can equip it for double black. And for five and triple black, until end of turn, Vorpal Sword gains. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. We have a foil displacer beast right there. And we have a zombie token. Oh, that zombie is a neat one. I'm just so happy that D&D and Magic have finally crossed over. Well, Magic has... D&D has finally crossed over to Magic. Magic's crossed over to D&D a few times with a few... Uh, plane modules and also rule books like um, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravica and the Mythic Odysseys of Theros. And there is one coming out for Strixhaven later this year. Our art card is oh, it's the uh, Gelatinous Cube rule book art card. But our planes, we have an owl bear as our rule book card. We'll skip through some commons here and some uncommons. Druid class is seeing a little bit of play in standard at the moment. Uh, Wild Shape is seen play in modern, actually, in Infect. And we have a Blink Dog. And our rare is Guardians, Guardian of Faith. So for one and two white, you get a Creature Spirit Knights, a three tooth Flash and Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, any number of target, target, any number of ta target other creatures you control phase out. Ooh, and we've got an art card, rule book card of Dritzt Dura. And so for three, a green and a white. You legendary creature Elf Ranger. It's a three through a double strike. When it enters the battlefield, you create Gwyn Gwynevar, a legendary 4 1 green cat with, with to token with trample. When a creature dies, if it had power greater than Dritzt, put a number of plus one plus one counters on Dritzt equal to the difference. And we have a foil Blink Dog. And we have a Lost Minor Fandalva with a skeleton on the back. All right, next up. I won't lie, it kind of bothers me a little bit that not, uh, all the tokens uh, don't match the thing they're in. But, you know, that's just me. All right, our art card is... Oh, it's actually the signed one of the Veteran Dungeoneer. Signed by the artist. Very nice. We've got a Dijin Windseeker as our rulebook card. And we'll skip through these normal commons and our uncommons. Oh, Callan, I've been playing with them. In standard actually Skullport merchant and then our cards that link and our rare is dungeon descent so it's a land it enters the battlefield tap to tap to add a colors or four and tap to tap and tap a legendary creature uh, venture into the dungeon we've got our rare in our foil in shambling ghast oh and we got one of the little game cards here in mimic match 
and put that up there because no one really cares about those. Alright, next up. Ooh, we've got an art card. It's for a Mimic. It's the normal Mimic. Got a land. Oh, we've got a full art black dragon. Got some other commons here, some uncommons, then cards that are linked. And our rare is a wizard spell book. So for five and two billion artifact, tap to exile a ta an instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. Roll d20, activate only as a sorcery. If you roll one to nine, you copy that card, you may cast the copy. If you roll 10 to 19, you copy that card, and you may cast the copy by paying one rather than paying its mana cost and then if you roll the natural 20 copy each card exiled with wizard spell book you may cast any number of the copies without paying their mana costs got a foil never winter dry out here oh we've got another card from the list it's soul catchers airy for those who like to play birds in commander this is actually kind of an important card all right next up We have ourselves a we have ourselves goblins as our art card and it has the stat block for goblins. Got an island. Ooh, we've got the uh, dungeon module evolving wilds right here. I love this this frame actually. It's actually probably my favourite ones of the set. So we've got hoarding some commons here, some uncommons, then a common. Oh, we've got another Dritz Dern there as our rare foil air cult elemental and we've got boo we got boo go for the eyes boo from uh the minskin boo uh card which i hope we open up all right next up all right so we have oh we've got an owl bear in the rule book artwork got a basic swamp and we've got a manticore as our rule book card some commons some uncommons and a oh we've got a zalto fire fire giant duke so for three and two ready legendary creature giant barbarians a seven three when it's dealt damage you venture into the dungeon Oh, we've also got Zariel, Ar Archduke of Avernus. So for two and two red, you get a legendary planeswalker Zariel, it's, has, which has full loyalty. Creature control, get plus one, plus zero, oh, and gain haste until end of turn. You can zero it to make a red devil. Uh, with when it dies, it does one damage to any target. And you can minus six to get an emblem with at the end of the first combat phase on your turn. I'm tab target creature you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. We also have a Yuan Ting... Yuan T Fang Blade there, and oh, we got a Hashup Oasis as a card from the list. A little bit of uh, Almond Cat getting into our blocks at the moment. Alright, next up. Alright, so we've got Fly as our art card, an island, we've got a Purple Worm as our rule book card. Uh, we'll jump through some commons, some uncommons, and then a common, a common, and we, our rare is the Hand of Vecna. So for three mana, get a legendary artifact equipment. The beginning of combat on your turn, equipped creature or a creature you control named Vecna gets plus X plus S, X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your hand. You can equip, equip it by, by paying one life for each card in your hand, and you can equip it for two. Oh, and we got a foil full art red dragon right there that's pretty cool and we've got treasure all right next pack oh we got a manticore as our art card with the staff block got a forest we have a direwolf prowler as our rulebook card. We'll jump through some commons, jump through some uncommons. And our rare is the frog hemoth. So for three and two green, you get a creature frog horror. It's a four-fourth trample in haste. When deals combat damage to a player, exile the 
uh, up to that many target cards from their graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on Frog Hemoth for each creature card exiled this way. You gain one life for each non-creature card exiled in this way. Oh, and we have a Flumph. So for one and a white, you get a creature jellyfish that's an 0-4 with Defender and Flying. When it is dealt damage you and target opponent each, draw a card. Oh, and we've got a foil, another foil, a foil rare in Westgate Regent. So for three and two black, it's a creature vampire. It's a four four flying. It has ward of discard a card. When it deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. And we have a Dungeon of the Mad Mage with a goblin token. That was a bit of a nice pack there. We got three rares out of it. Next up. Alright, so. We have Faraday, Devil's Chosen as our art card. Got our island. We have our Mandacore as our rulebook card. We'll jump through some commons and uncommons. Portable Hole is really good removal, by the way. Got a Bar the Gate. We've got a Mimic. Oh, and we've got a Lolf Spider Queen. So for three and two black, a legendary planeswalker Lolf. When a creature enters, you control dies, put a loyalty counter on Lolf. Zero mana, you draw a card and you lose a life. Minus, minus three to create two, two, one black spider creature tokens with menace and reach. And minus eight, you get an emblem with whenever an opponent is dealt damage by one or more creatures you control. If that player lost less than eight life this turn, they lose life equal to the difference. Hey, we have actually got a foil Minsk beloved ranger go with our boot in the rule book. In the rule book card as well. So for a red, green, and a white, you get a legendary creature human ranger. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, you create Boo, a legendary 1-1 one, one red hamster creature token with Trample and Haste. For X, um, until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness XX and becomes a giant. In addition to its other creature types, activate only as a sorcery. Hey, that's pretty neat. And we've got another little mini game with the devil token on the back. Okay, so at least they're making use of the games that only really need one side for rules. At least they still be, can be used as tokens. That's a nice little improvement. All right, next up. Oh, we got Minsk Beloved Ranger with his best friend Boo right there as our art card. Got a forest. Oh, we got a full art blue dragon right there as our alternate treatment. Jump through some commons, jump through some uncommons. Oh, and we got Delina Wild Mage. This is actually seeing a little bit of play in stand at the moment in the Dice Friends deck. Well, that's what I call the Dice Combo deck that's in stand at the moment. So for three and a red, you get a three legendary creature th elf shaman to three two. When it attacks, uh, choose target creature you control, then roll a d20. From one to fourteen, you create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it has exile this creature at the end of combat. Um, and if you roll 15 to 20, you roll one of the, you create one of those tokens and you roll again. So the idea with that, you've got a Fallen Law Hunter and a Lost Minus Band Elver with a Skeleton. So the idea of that combo deck is to have this and the, um, Pixie that we opened earlier in the packs. Uh, you attack with both and you select the Pixie and you also play with, play with a Barbarian class as well. Um, and you roll the dice, you want to hit the 15 to 20, so you create a copy of it, and each time you create a copy of that pixie, you get more dice to roll, which you're always taking advantage of, um, so it increases the likelihood of you hitting that 15 to 20. That's the long and short of it. I believe there's, uh, clips available online if you want to see how that deck, deck operates. We've got... A forest by Titus Lunter. Oh, and we got a foil plains here as well. We have a Neverwinter Dryad as our book treatment. We've got Bruno Battlehammer as our one of our commons. Those of you playing D D D know, know who Bruno is. Even if you just opened up a player's guide. Got a common and uncommon. We've got our rare is the Black Staff of Waterdeep. So for a single blue, you get a legendary artifact. You may choose not to untap the black staff of water deep during an untap step. And for one of blue and tap, another target non-token artifact you control becomes a 4-4 black 4-4 artifact creature as long as it is tapped and you can activate it only as a sorcery. And we have a foil kick in the door and a tomb of annihilation which has the atropole on the back. Alright. Next pack. We 
We have a bag of holding as our art card. Got a swamp. We've got a rhyme shield frost drawn as our rules text, our rule book card. Oh, that's a common. We'll jump through these other commons and some uncommons here. And our rare is Triumphant Adventurer. So for a white and a black, you get a creature, human knight with it's a one-month death touch. As long as it's your turn, it has first strike, and when it attacks, you venture into the dungeon. We have a foil of thieves tools here, and we've got a, another little game called Lost in Translation. Totally lost in translation. Alright, next up. Oh, our art card is the Flame Skull, which I've been playing in mono red, personally in standard. We have a Cullen Reclus Reclusive Painter as our rulebook card. We'll skip through some commons here. We'll skip through some uncommons. A common, an uncommon. Oh, and we've got an Oswald Fiddlebender in the alternate art uh, art artwork. So we've got for, so for one and a white, you get a legendary creature gnome artificer. So two two with magical tinkering. So white and tap. Sacrifice an artifact. Search your library for an artifact card with mana value equal to one plus the sacrificed artifact's mana value. Put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. Activate only as a sorcery. Hmm. This sounds oddly like birthing pod, but for artifacts. And we've got a foil arborea pegasus in the rulebook frame right there. And we have a wolf token. I need to neaten these piles just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. There we go. At least they're not crowding on top of each other. All right, next up. All right, so we have a cloistered gargoyle Ooh, in the rulebook artwork as our art card. Got a swamp and clattering skeletons as our other artwork card. Some commons, some uncommons. And our rare is the Cave of the Frost Dragon. So it's a land. It's the uh, white one of the circle. You, you can tap to add white. And for four and a white, it becomes a three, four white dragon creature with flying until end of turn. And we've also got a Mind Flayer. So for three and two blue, you get a creature horror. It's a three, three with Dominate Monster. When it enters the battlefield, you gain control of target creature for as long as you control the Mind Flayer. And we have a foil you happen on the glade. Ooh, we've also got Grizzly Fate. Another card from the list. Oh, that's, what, four cards now from the list? So that's pretty neat. For those who play bears, come and holler at me. All right, next up. All right, so our art card is the Half-Elf Monk. Got a mountain, and we have an Underdark Basilisk as our rulebook card. Skip through some commons. Skip through some uncommons. And our rare is a white. So for one and a black, it's a creature, creature zombie soldier. It's a 3-2. It enters the battlefield tapped. When a creature dealt damage by white in this turn dies, create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature token and exile that card. And we have a foil Terrasta Moon Dancer as well. So... It's a legendary, um, uh, the Chinese Pride Mate. And we got another card from the list, so it's Root Runner. Jeez, we're really hitting those lists. We're hitting up that list pretty hard. I wonder if they've increased the, uh, the frequency, I guess, of the, of the, uh, cards in the list. Because this, this is the most I think I've ever opened in a set box before. All right. So we've got a cave. Oh, we've got the Cave of the Frost Dragon here as our art card. Got a forest, and we've got a cloister gargoyle as our rulebook card. Jump through some commons. Jump through some uncommons. Common, common, and we've got a loyal, wo well, loyal warhand. So it's a one or white for a creature do dog with visions. It's a three one. When it is the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, search a library for a basic planes, put in the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. It's um kind of a play on Night of the White Orchid. Got a full portable hole here too, and we've got another treasure token. Alright, next up. Ooh, we got a purple worm as our art card with the cool stat block. 
Got a foil planes. We have a Phaedra, Phaedra Devil's Chosen as our rule book card. We'll jump through some commons. Jump through some uncommons. And our rare is Teleportation Circle. So for three and a white, you get an enchantment. Being of your end step, exile up to one target artifact or creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. And we also have a Flame Skull. So for one and two red, you get a creature skeleton. It's a 3-1 flying. It can't block and it has rejuvenation. So when it dies, you exile it. If you do exile the top card of your library until end of the next turn, you may play one of those cards. So you choose either the Flame Skull or you choose that new card that you just picked up from the top of your library. And we've got a Foil Compelled Duel and another Wolf. Right. Next up. Oh, we got a, another um, archive. It's the bullet right there with the neat rules text. We've got a forest, and we're going to Borea Pegasus as our rules, rules alt art card. So there's some commons there, some uncommons, and then a common and uncommon. And we've, our rare is the okra jelly. So for X and a green, you get a creature ooze, the zero, zero trample. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. So when the Ochre Jelly dies, if it had two or more plus one plus one counters on it, create a token that's a copy of it at the beginning of the next end step. That token enters the battlefield with half that many plus one plus one counters on it, rounded down. And we have a Sapuka Ghoul as our foil and a zombie. Alright, next up. All right, so we got ooh, we got the Grandmaster of the Flowers as our art card, our Swamp. Uh, our bear is our rules card. We'll jump through some commons, jump through some uncommons, common, and our rare is Orca's Prince of Undeath. So for X two black and a red, you legendary creature demons of five three flying and trample. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you choose one. Each other creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, and you let, lose X life. Return up to X target creature cards with total mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. And we have a foil unexpected windfall and a lost minds of Fandalva with a skeleton on the back. Right. Next. Alright, oh, we have a critical hit as our art card. Got a planes. Oh, we've got a full art white dragon right there. Got a veteran dungeon here. Some commons here. Some uncommons. A common and uncommon. And we have an India selfless paladin as our rare. So for two and a white, you get legendary creature dragon knights at three through vigilance. Winters the battlefield or attacks you venture into the dungeon. Uh, other creatures you control get plus one plus one as long as as long as you've completed a dungeon. We also have a foil by the gate and another little mini game. Alright, next up. Alright, so our art card is, is, is the red dragon and we've got a foil island. Our rule card is the Dijin Windseeker. We'll jump through some commons and uncommons right here. A common. Oh, and our rare is Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. So for one and two green, you get a legendary creature, human elf ranger. It's a three third reach and ward one. Whenever you cast a creature or a planeswalker spell, venture into the dungeon. This ability triggers only one each, once each turn. When you complete a dungeon, you create a two, two, two green wolf creature token. That's pretty neat. And hey, we've got a full art. Our old Norbone. So for five and two green, you get a legendary creature dragon to seven seven flying. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create that many treasure tokens. We have a full scaled herbalist here and a tomb of annihilation with the Atropole. I personally want to get into DMing at some point for Dungeon Dragons, but I need to actually play a little bit more because I don't think I've played enough to actually feel myself to be ready to be a someone who is in charge of a game. Hey, look, we got a kobold right there for uh, uh, the one that when you, if you complete a 
dungeon, you get to put a dragon to play. I know which one it is. Got a foil mountain here and a null hunter as our rules card. Skip through some commons, skip through some uncommons. A common, a common, and our rare is the fighter class. So for red and a white, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you search your library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. So it's an enchantment class. For one red and a white, equip abilities you activate cost two less to activate. And when a creature you control attacks up to one target creature, blocks it this combat if able. We have a full vampire spawn and a Vanguard of Brimas. Nice little throwback to good old uh, original Theros right there. All right, next up. We have, as our art card, Sudden Insight. Got an island. We've got an Iron Golem as our art rules card, rule artwork card. Some commons, some uncommons. Okay. Uncommon. And our rare is the green land for this set. It's the Lair of the Hydra. So again, if it enters, if you control, if it taps add green, and for X and a green, it becomes a hydra with X, or the um XX. It becomes an XX green hydra creature. That's a bit of a mouthful. And we've got a foil. You see a guard approach. Hey, I just got an over the all form. I don't think I ever opened this in Kaldheim, and it's the uh, Alton art too. And that's part of the list apparently. That's not bad. I don't no, no, think I've opened that card at all back in Kaldheim. That's usually a nice pickup for me. All right, next up. Man, anything can be in the list these days, huh? All right, so our art card is, oh, it's the Iron Golem, but in the rulebook artwork. Got a Plains. We have a Goblin Javelinier as our rulebook card. So jump through some commons, jump through some uncommons. Oh, and we've got a mythic here. With, we have Icing Death Frost Tyrant. So for two and two white, your legendary creature dragon. It's a four, three flying in vigilance. When it dies, you create Icing Death Frost Tongue, a legendary white equipment artifact token with equipped uh, creature gets plus two, plus zero. And whenever equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and you equip it for two. We have a You Find a Cursed Idol as a four. Oh, we have a Dog Illusion. I believe this goes with Mordecai. It's the first time I've actually seen this token up close. All right, and this will be our last pack, guys. So let's hope for something real cool. I mean, not to say we haven't gotten anything cool in this, so let's be real. All right. Uh, oh, we got a troll here. Oh, it's another signed art card there. That's cool. Got a mountain. Hey, another Evolving Wilds as our rulebook card. Let's jump through these last commons and last uncommons. And our rare is Gazalix Ithalid Scholar. So for one and two bleed, a legendary creature horror, it's a three two. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, you draw a card. And we have a foil hobgoblin captain and a real new little game right here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. It lets people know that we exist. You can follow me on Twitter. Links are down below. You can also follow us on the Planeswalker Pantheon. Again, links are down below. Thanks for joining me, guys, on this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later.